This is Big Break, but it's not any old Big Break. It is the Big Break, the final tonight. Two contestants have been whittled down from the hundred or so that entered all those weeks ago. Deviani Dayal of She Moves, we just heard from her, and also Arit Mohammed of Boon Comi. Uh, Boon Coffee, Arit, many, many thanks indeed for being back with us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So we're going to repeat the task that your competitor has just been through. Earlier on today, we got you into the Dubai Eye recording studio and asked you to record a radio advert. The prize, of course, is a great facility down at Dubai Airport Free Zone and also the radio adverts on Arabian Radio Network. We want to know how you're going to use the prize. How is it going to benefit you? Do you really deserve to get this prize? How are you going to make best use of it? Well, one of the ways we tried to test this was to get you recording your own adverts. If you've got all this money to spend on adverts, you're going to have to make some. It was a bit unfair. We gave you about 20 minutes to come up with this, although you did have the help of some of our own uh, radio advert experts. But listen, let's have a listen to the Boone Coffee advert. This is a 30-second advert designed by Arit. Let's hear from it right now. Indulge your senses. Feel the smoothness. The aroma will intoxicate you. Taste the rich flavors. Boon coffee is pure and simple. The way nature intended it. Take a break. Celebrate each day with Boon coffee. Drink it up. Booncoffee.com Written and produced by Arit Mohammed. Yusuf Takan Takan, the first question. I think on the face of it, Arit, you know, you, you've got a great product. Um, you know, it's it's ethical, it's healthy, it's you know, there's so many great things to say about it. My problem with the radio ad is I didn't hear any of that. But it's a radio. The radio ad is thirty seconds. I I, I don't want to cram too much information, you know, because it will be boring. I want them to know that this coffee is going to take them away from each day, you know, to celebrate. This is what my I want them to know that this is not just the cup of a regular Joe. This is a cup that would force you to just enjoy the, mo- the moment. All right, let's say you win the prize. What would you do in the first 100 days to make sure you're really optimizing it? First one, well, f- first I would be <laughs> going home, I mean, going to the roast a lot of coffees, you know, because obviously I'm getting a lot more feedback than I expected. So, and then advertise it, use the advertisement well and fix my website <laughs> and, you know, my fo- to, uh, all the social networks I need to, I now I know that I have to be on, on board faster. That was a real cheesy 1970s style ad. What would you develop the ad system on from there? So that's the first ad. What would yeah. the second or the third one focus the, on? After building the brand name, I think I would focus on the ethical part of it I would of, of focus on that is organic but you know that's hard to do when you're doing to catch their attention so but hopefully I will learn that too. Marie do you feel like you're ready for Boone Coffee to secure this level of visibility I mean I know you're a young company but is it the case that, it, that this might be too soon for you to get this big break? No, not at all I've been working on this for years and you know it's just that this that this part of it is now but I have this has been my dream for a long time and I've been in coffee business uh, my family has been in this business for f- over 50 years so this is this is not a new uh, venture I'm looking into this is this is what I know well what I'm interested to know about really is how do you plan to manage that growth I mean how do you forecast your sales how do you plan you know if you do have a, a huge ramp in sales and inquiries and, and you know, the requirement to import a lot more coffee how do you plan to react quickly to that the number one thing is that Ethiopia is very close to Dubai, so we can, and this is the season of coffee. This is just started this January, so that I have access to that, and I have access to to to, to secure the right kind of coffee immediately. Therefore, I'm not worried about the. And if the branding gets out, I'm not worried about uh, if we're ready. We are ready. We've been ready. If the product uh, demand grows by 100 percent, 200 percent over the next three six months, do you have the capacity operationally to deal with that? Yes, and. For, a hundred percent, yes. You know, the, the back work was the hard part. Right now, we're at the front work. You know, we have the we're going to be roasting it locally. We know where, where, what, how, and the packaging. Everything is ready. It's just a little website, but. All right, are you a one-woman show? No. If God forbid something happened to you, is there someone else who's ready to take Boone Coffee forward? I actually, I keep talking about my. It's it, we, I have a wonderful team who's very loyal. 
both in here and in Ethiopia because each batch of coffee that we buy has to be tested. So that we're doing in Ethiopia by professionals who've been dealing with this. And of, co of course, locally here, I, I have to have a team not only for delivering, marketing it, and doing the my accounting. So th I have a good team. If you need coffee tasters, yeah, I'll give you my mobile number. I'm always <laughs> free for that gig, the amount I spend at coffee shops. In my past, I used to run the largest tea warehouse in Britain, and we had uh, coffee as well. One of the great skills is creating continuity of flavor yes. in these things, and the blending becomes very important as well. How are you addressing that? Uh, for sure, but you know, Ethiopian coffee, already has lots of flavors that I'm working on. And the blending, I'm going to try to tailor it to each customer's uh, preferences. You know, I'm talking about like if a hotel wants it to be uh, roasted uh, dark and they want deeper flavors, we could do that. So this, since we're a local company, we could tailor it to your need. Well, here's here's a question for you. You just mentioned hotels, and you know, there's there's obviously a, both a business to business and a business to consumer side mm -hmm. to this. I mean, if you were to win the radio advertising, how would you split your money? Where would you spend your you know how would where would you spend your money targeting a B two C audience? Where would you target a B two B audience, and how would you vary your message to those different markets? We're already doing that. Most of our customers are businesses. They're offices. We deliver a lot of our. Uh, delivery is to offices and, uh, and we haven't had the right chance but opportunities but we want to get into the mass market we want to be in the rest in the grocery stores where you can pick up boom coffee weekly I was interested in this sort of changing flavor that you were talking about because most coffee brands that I know build their reputation and their market on a singular flavor that people recognize and know and maybe have a slight variation on it later I mean we know with coca-cola they changed tried to change the the flavor of their product once and everything went went away on them so are you going to have this multiple flavor business or are you going to have a, a standard that everybody knows and understands Ethiopian coffee is different flavors. If I do Yirgaj Efe, it's floral, you know. If I do Harar, it's mocha. So I'm going to have the different flavors already. So I'm going to concentrate uh, having it as single or a blend. Some people want a blend. We create the blend. I mean, we have our own blend, but this is a local business. We can tailor it to your need. A couple of final questions, Aini Wallace, then Yusuf to Kantakan. All right, companies need a story to differentiate themselves, whether it's the story behind how the company was founded, what the brand name means, et cetera. What's the story behind Boone? My story is that I come from this region. I was giving, given an opportunity. That's why I'm here behind the mic and not at the farms. So that given this huge opportunity, I feel like I have to pay back, not only with, for my customers here, for the local farmers where I came from. So my story is that I can connect with both groups, you know, my customers and my source. So that that is. Orit, one of the nice things about Dubai is how easy it is to do business here, and you know, free zones and things like that. Obviously, may, you know, work, work towards that, but. It, and so to some, for, to some, to some people, that might be a threat for you because what's to keep another Ethiopian woman from coming over here, setting up her coffee thing, and how do you plan to go to go up against you know contenders if they see that you have a, 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 vo a viable market out here? Number one, I would have my foot. Uh, you know, I'm already I'm having my foot hole already because I'm here first. You know, I'm doing this, and secondly, that. I don't think it's going to be a competition because the consume there are over you know there's a lot of people drinking coffee so the more people get educated the better it is for specialty coffee sellers all over listen we've had so many text messages in this evening really appreciate those as with Devayani, we have so many people writing in saying Boone Coffee is great. They think you're wonderful. You're doing a great job. That's a given. You have loads and loads of fans out there. A couple of the more challenging questions we've had, though. Uh, what Jake writes in, uh, I think perhaps a Boone needs more time to bloom. Do you think that's fair? It's similar to a question that one of our judges asked. No, not at all. Uh, it's new in Dubai, the in, in fairness, but that doesn't mean we, we, we're ready. We have the right product, we have the right team, and we're very passionate, so I, I don't see us being not ready. And somebody else writes in, again, a similar question that Devayani had. How will you compete against the likes of Starbucks, which such massive financial power and massive advertising power? If I win the big break, I'll get that nudge I need, but... I, I'm competing in quality, so that's my aim. My main thing is quality. Arit Mohammed of Boon Coffee, thank you very much indeed. 
Okay, Arid Mohammed is going to take a seat in the green room. We're going to turn up the microphones there. She and Deviani are going to listen to the comments that our judges have. We're going to discuss their various entries. They finished with their pitches now. 